one of the, the younger ones, but now he's kind of on the come up in terms of age. Yeah, now what we were talking about before with the disjoints, uh, you know, trying it's to gonna get a lot more heavy. Power, yeah, it's going to be much harder now. Granted, one good thing that Brother Quang's got going for him is that Limit is not always going to be available for Cloud Jump Windows Gimps. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Wow, he actually made it out of cross slash. That's something I've never seen. Yeah, he, was, he caught him at like the top end of it. Well, you got that damage, I got damage too. Another Immediately re it up to 61% <laughs> off of that and still going. I thought we were going to see another re-grab off of that just to force a Gimp situation. Now that Thomas has, yeah, okay, yeah, perfect time to burn Limit right there. With Limit, you're going to be using it more as like a damage dealer. Yeah, rather also, more than it was in Smash 4 where it was a kill option. Yeah, it still kills, but here's the thing. We've learned that, um... Brother Quang seems to have like weighted shoes or something because this Kirby has been living <laughs> some obnoxiously high kill, kill percents. And this would be huge for him if he can just continue to do the same thing, especially in some of those cross-slash situations. <laughs> yeah. Thomas doing a great job of controlling space right now. With Cloud, you're going to be wanting to use his, uh, his immaculate aerial drift, just waiting for the bad ledge to get up right there. Let's there it is, hard punish yeah. with that F smash. It, like a lot of times you see clouds who just, all right, I got 15 seconds, I gotta close this out now. No, sometimes you can hold on to it and just like try and bait them out. It, Gonna get even right back up though, coming in from uh, Myriad there. Nine times out of ten, you're always gonna wait, wanna wait there. I, when he's dashing back and forth, you can kind of get the reaction with the blade beam. It will catch you at ledge if you mess it up. I love that little stall there at the bottom with the jump so that uh, Myriad didn't uh, eat down there. Yeah, that was huge. He needed that so bad. I like the option wow. of the air dodging to reset in center stage, but Myriad immediately coming in with the hard punish there. Okay, yeah, th this, these cross slashes are going to be a great disjoint to keep Kirby out most of the time. It will be his primary dead until I believe it's true at pretty much like almost every percent mm -hmm. on itself. I'd see it kill sometimes too. I see that, that this is smart on um, on Brother Quang as well. And yet again, go for it again. You got to That's the second time to dive it up. Yeah. And now wait, he, wait for them to do it. You have 15 whole seconds to do it. If they're yep. hanging on the ledger two on Blade Beam. And now we have the mini game of are you going to guess the same thing again going into this next stock? Because you have him going for that twice, rolling through. Now what's he going to do? Is he going to try and roll read? Or is Brother Gwen going to just stay in position and wait for him just to pull the trigger? The thing is, he's, he's, uh, he needs to space these short hop back airs correctly, or else he's not really going to kill Quang with it. Also that, I and like utilizing that. Utilizing that nair, I mean that fair. That is it's such a good, uh, everyone's complaining about spot dodge cancels recently. Mm -hmm. That is such a great thing to catch those spot dodge cancels. And that was, that was a good option. And see, uh, you know, Brother Quang didn't actually adjust that yeah. time. And staying on the platform, thank you. Actually, wait that out. He's going to take damage for it, but force that timer to go down. And we have another yet very close tight game, uh, number one here. Quang is going to work working back. himself in these close games every single second. Quang, Quang is going to start giving me hard palpitations. It's, a, it's impressive in general that Brother Quang is pulling the Kirby out right now and putting in these very close matches. Uh, you, you have to know all these matchups. There's 70 plus characters. It's hard to Ooh. get this practice against all of them. Excellent patience by Thomas right there to wait for all the down tilts so he could get a safe enough distance to where it wasn't safe for Brother Quang to down tilt so he could get that upbeat. Really good stuff right there. One more well placed back air at ledge is probably going to seal it. Wow, trying to get it, but he stuffs out the upbeat with the down tilt right away. Now this is scary. I would just, I would just wait. Yeah, wait. Yeah. See, he's waiting now. He's not committing because he knows if he go. Oh, there we go. He waited and adapted and it worked. That's exactly what I was talking about before. When you have that situation, it's like, all right, well, now I have a, uh, a spot where I have to deal with this yet again. And uh, is he going to go for it again, or is he going to just pull the trigger early? I always refer to the last stock of a player as known as the, the stupid switch. Mm -hmm. The stupid switch goes off when you're on your last stock. Yes. Then you start playing like you're. If if every player could play like they play on their last stock, there, the P, it would have to be. 100 I don't know if I should have said yes so exciting the way that you said the stupid switch. It is there, the stupid because switch. I have seen some people do some very sus Whoa. behavior at the end. <laughs> but it's that stress of being in, you know that that like being the in stupid corner switch like sometimes that. gets jammed. Yep. Yeah, you gotta make sure you turn it back <laughs> off. So we got brother Bowser. Okay. Three. We got Brother Koopa coming out right now. Quite making the switch to Bowser. Interesting switch on his part. We're starting off the game right now. Transitioning to Town and City. I definitely like this counter pick a lot. I liked it. I actually like the switch because of the fact that you know he had to work so hard to go for a lot of those reads. But he's got the conditioning, I, I think, over Myriad so far in this set. Bowser's going to be able to sell those skills better, and he can play off stage with those fares, especially if there's no limit online. Wang has also given himself more range to work with now, and his grounded playstyle I feel like works perfectly with Bowser. And I like just the grounded movement, like throwing out all these up bees, uh, uh, these uh, willing fortresses, just to establish pressure on shield. Like you can't do it's such all a great of these. out of shield option. It's such a great whip punish option. Any any time you whip, it has reliable damage. It can combo into itself now that it's been uh, it's been fixed. Yep, and you can't, buff, these whiff, you can't throw out these whiffed fares and back airs on me. You have to respect it. Trying to get him jumping away with that back air, not going to give it to him. 
So one, one thing I noticed from Quang that he doesn't use as much is this is command grab. If oh, there's one just, thing I've seen from Leon, that was perfect. That was such a great textbook edge guard right there. By yeah, Quang. definitely allowed him to live for a second, but he's going to take the fist to the face regardless. And uh, Brother Quang, again, like even with that Kirby before, he, he had the read on the match. Just Myriad was able to play the matchup well. In this one, I think he's got to respect him a lot more because that kill potential is much better for Brother Quang now. Here we have... Uh, Quang getting off ledge, it's always tough to get off ledge because Bowser's so big and easily ledge trap, especially against Cloud in a matchup like this. I feel like Bowser would excel a lot more. It's weird It's weird how you say that because Sorties kind of bop heavies a lot. Yeah. The thing is, though, if you get that fair range, you have you have the same amount of range as they do. There we go. That's a it's, perfect It's about how much right can there. you get them to overcommit. And Myriad has been doing a better job the second stock. See, he's slowing it down now. That's yeah. what you need to do against a heavy. You cannot overcommit against them too much or you're asking for trouble. They, because he clipped him at the very end of the shield there, he couldn't do a forward smash punish, so he can only go for that F tilt. One thing I want to see Quang actually going for more is that command grab side B. It's a, it's a six frame startup, so it's, it's fairly quick. Yeah, he got him on one before just to get stage positioning. That's just jump. It's also free stage control. Forward tilt. Oh, he lets it hang for too long. Unfortunate. Ooh, trying to get yeah, the trying to get the side B right there, actually, to go for uh, the kill. Definitely would kill right about now. And he expended his jump, but he didn't pull the trigger, and now Excellent. he lost his limit. Okay, one more good read from Quang. See, one, Bowser's no stranger to living hypersense, and Quang is still, I have to mention, Quang is still holding on to three stocks right now. Yeah, and you know, just so Myriad was trying so hard to air dodge his way back into stage, but the moment that second buffered one came out, he was already down his jump. Now he's swinging hard. Just, there you go, the F-Tilt finally gonna take out the first stock. This, and you can already see this, this switch paying off for Quang really, really well. He's just able to deal with the amount of range that Myriad has. Myriad has not has, had, uh, has not been dictating the pace of the match as much as he was that first game. You can see Quang actually being able to approach, actually being able to get... That being said, though, Myriad playing really, really good on the second stock here, or uh, his last stock right now. I agree what you said, too. It, like, as a sortie, especially at one who has a resource such as Limit, you need to dictate the pace of the match. You need to constantly be in control. Side me. Yeah, it was. A, Brother Quang doesn't need too much. All he needs to do is win three interactions. You're at kill percent. Right. Especially because he's a stock up now, too. He can dig off stage and go for a fair now, even if he wants to go really low. He's been getting a little too complacent. I want to see him reacting a bit more to what uh, My Raid is doing. He's been throwing out these weird up Bs in situations where My Raid might be landing on him, but he can kind of recover from it just well enough. See, that was that was not the opportune time to do it because you're in the corner. They yeah. wait until they do something unsafe and they get stuck in the field. Oh, if he would have parried all four of those, I would have absolutely lost patch. my mind. If only the patch, bro. Because oh, I, right, that that, right. I think that all might have been auto parried. What, did, what if he manually parried them all? He would have been a god. He would have been a legend. But right I would have built a shrine dedicated to Quang in my room. Yeah, can we get a VIP access booth specifically <laughs> for our brother Quang uh -oh. here when we come back? <laughs> Stretchers come. No double jump. That was a perfect, perfect up smash right there to catch that. Uh, he knew, he realized he had no jump left, and the only option that Myraid had left is to potentially die. No, he's not going to yeah. go down. And then up yeah, smash there it is. Go. He gave GG's, bro. Yo, he he literally gave here's the GG's. The However, that's not GG's just yet as we're heading into a game three. And that was a perfect situation for him too, because that all every single thing about that trade was beneficial for him. If I get knocked away from this up B, I'm going to center stage. Literally only if I got dragged off stage by the up B from his position, which would have been broken. That's right. But he was able to walk away from that and Brother Quang even it back up. So this kind of thing, I'm sorry, I knew Quang I guess Quang didn't drop Kirby, but is rather keeping other characters in the wings. I mean, it's working, working for it a lot. It's been working it's a lot. Kirby's been putting in work, but this Bowser is definitely exactly what he needed to uh, run it back. Because oh, you can sure. see, Absolutely. like, like uh, Myriad or Thomas, he has to slow down the match a lot That's more, right. and he has not. And because of that, Brother Quang is realizing that he doesn't need to respect a lot of his options, just throws out Whirling Fortresses over and over and over. He's taking so much damage for it. I really don't know how to pronounce this tag. I wish people would make their tag like real words. Okay, so I don't know <laughs> if you went here just for the triplat, or if you went here to get some jank, because that up B definitely can rip you right off of the stage on that slant right there. I like this a lot as well. Whoa! Whoa trying to, spike. I like it. I like the like the, the pickup. Try and put on the early damage, early stock, early, uh, and establish that pressure. So Brother Quang, Brother Quang has had perfect DI on every single it's been time really he's been good, in that. Yeah. You, I think you have to as a Kirby player, honestly. Like he's constantly falling out of those up out of shield and uh, not allowing him to reset stage position. He's getting a punish off it instead. Thomas doing a lot better of a job. I actually like this counter pick a lot from Thomas because he can catch Quang's landings a lot more. Quang has been in the air a lot more with Bowser than he has been with Kirby. By the way, this music smacks. Like, yeah, really? We, we, I, I we have a like swordsman it. attacking Bowser, and it, like, <laughs> like just the most cheerful player. music in the back, but it's intense. I love yeah, it. He's killing it on the banjo, dude. 
speaking you know why. Sneak advantage of that was the goofiest <laughs> trade I've ever seen in my life. Trying to go for a Whoa, hard read, but a yeah, great, use that invincibility on yeah. that get up attack. Right, Thomas looking for this kill right here with the blade beam. I like that. I actually a lot. like that I idea like it too because he was trying to fade back, maybe he didn't out of jump out of um, out of uh, Brother Quang, and he was getting close to invincibility loss on the ledge there. I haven't seen my raid down tilt at the ledge too much to catch Bowser, but the, uh, especially with the slope, it can aid in two frames quite a bit. Mm -hmm. My raid just cannot get a closeout right now. I like it. Just don't even try to fight him at the corner. Ooh, he's Gets the command grab. That's the first stock. Wow. Yeah. That's the thing against Bowser. You, you, you can trade as much as you want with Bowser, but if you're you're going to be losing those trades just mm -hmm. by virtue of him being a lot heavier. That being said, that quick F tilt right on the shield there. Yeah, That's punishing that whip grab right there. That was very good. And uh, keeping it dead even yet again. Uh, Brother <laughs> Brother Quang has been bringing us some of the closest matches we've been seeing so far in this tournament. He's been clutching it out, though, because of his adaptability. It's, it's, it's been so good, these sets. He's been making little slight adjustments every single time. And he gets out of the LP yet again. And, uh, but you know what? I like the fact that Myriad is consistently putting on this pressure now. Oh, oh luckily for him, that was he not wasn't a shield. shield yeah. <laughs> Catching the landing, I, I like the attempt at the golf smash. I don't think. Oh, Ooh. there we go. I, I was gonna say I don't know if the finishing touch would have killed there because of that whiff. But doesn't need it though. He's gonna get the fair. This might be the first upset of the racket I've been seeing actually. Ooh, okay, yeah, great, great touch. He might be dead. No. Yeah, no, he's dead. No, he was dead. Oh, but I guess he couldn't do it again. He got pushed back just enough. He had no jump, and okay. unless he, unless the flames brought the him flames, the limit. I thought the flames would have brought him to another upbeat, though. He got, he didn't seem like he was able to do uh, upbeat again for some reason. Yeah, he wasn't close enough, but oh, Ooh, this dude, could he be pulled a kill out his jump. Right here. He's getting afraid. He got wow. so much damage off of that, too. Just straight to 77%. Wang, pulling it back almost completely. I want to see a cross slash right now. There yes. it is. All right, it's not going to get the kill, yeah, but it's going to give him yeah. stage position, give him the lead. Now, what's the roll option? No, he's he just got to wait for the correct option. Quang doing a great job. That dragged him down. That, I was about to say, it's like, yo, where are you going? Oh, no, he got oh. overcommitted. Oh, no, lucky he might lose his set because of this. No, Brother Quang's going to get hit by that down smash. My Ma raid trying oh. to get the call. Does he get the back here oh. at the ledge? Oh, he didn't get through. He didn't do the side B. What's the option here at the ledge? He needs to get oh, right. That's he it. works on the side B. And he Thomas pops with off. the pop off. That was a well-deserved pop off at that, too. That set was oh. in. That was the back yeah. That was so well fought, both of them trying to keep it as close as possible. We saw how tight it was with the Kirby, but the Bowser pick was able to get the game, and he kept it close, especially after that big damage off that flamethrower, and then catching him on that whiff grab, finally taking it. There's the pop-up. Devin with the trigger finger. Devin was like, oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that 